I hope it's not rude to ask, but... Are you human? Pretty wrinkly for a kid, huh? That's because my friends and I have been 10 years old for a very long time. What do you mean? Yeah, I, I need it to make sense. What is up, guys? We are back with some more Sea of Stars, and we are here in Stong Shroom Marsh on Mesa Island. Uh, we're trying to get to Clockwork uh, Tower, and I guess get our get our fight on, right? Ooh, quite the combination. So, guys, what I'm gonna do, and I probably mentioned this before, uh, is I will be editing out like pretty much like a lot of these fights except for probably like the first encounter for some of these uh new ones so just uh, a heads up there look at that 1200 exp now we need to heal i should have used garl for that actually Trying to get back into the controls, but it's been like a, a month since I last played. <laughs> I feel like I came from there. Oh, maybe I actually do have to go that way. Leap cave. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Extra defense. I don't remember any of this, so maybe I'm going the right way. <laughs> I didn't even see that, honestly. Oh, lettuce. Give me all that. So for this game, funny enough, I actually just want to power it through it as well, just like Spider-Man. I finished up Spider-Man yesterday, uh, recorded like 12 videos or something for it. So, ooh, did he just run out on us like that? I don't know, I feel like I'm going backwards. How do I keep going up? Ah, okay. We're on to something. I think. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me.
Yeah, I think we have to go to like the right to get to the clockwork place. Oh, that thing's broken, right? Well, we don't need it anyway, I believe. I think because like our powers or something. There we go. <laughs> yep, haven't done that before, so. <laughs> That's cool. What's down here? Can we jump there? Damn. Came back in a circle for nothing. this one up I think yep Doing something right, y'all. Thank. <laughs> oh, anything over here important? I don't think so. Oh, it's just like a shortcut. Okay. Neat. Oh, daytime now. I don't get like a camp to rest at? Or is this going to be our rest? Hello? Uh, hello? You think someone lives here? Okay. Welcome, welcome. I am Yamara, a simple hermit. Yeah, we've already met your sister. Please, there's no need for that tune. Ramaya's evil ways are precisely that, Ramaya's. I am but a neutral observer in this affair of the world. You're a seer, aren't you? Does that mean we're getting a prophecy again? Why? If it ain't the warrior cook. <laughs> He's like, huh? You know me. I am a legend. <laughs> I've been expecting you. Please, eat the fruit from my tree. Uh, that's... That's a weird request. <laughs> really? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Nothing suspicious about that. <laughs> Just one now. Dead. <laughs> the taste is unbelievable. What are they called? Pears. <laughs> well, I would never use pears for cooking. They're perfect just the way they are. I knew you were the chosen one. <laughs> we gotta get serious like that. I knew. Being a seer has its perks, like knowing who's capable of fully appreciating a fresh pear. That's like a dumb superpower to have. So. Oops, wrong person. So. That's it? Yes, the threads of fate seldom speak to me about the near future. I only deal in the cataloging of grander arcs. Oh, okay. 
My apologies, but I have no insights for you. You. You are. She's like, I guess I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> a cold breeze is rising. Why don't you come in for a little bit? I mean, I guess. Now, which volume was it? Probably somewhere with my older work. The spirit that will carry the night. I was really overthinking titles back then. <laughs> Primal fear. No. Oh. That's where I put it. Of eight of seasons. Ah, there it is. Ethereal Currencies Volume 2. Let's see here. Oh yes, I remember now. I like how I can't keep like a consistent like accent for <laughs> for Yamara. Another prophecy, this is exciting. She's like, shut up. <laughs> Ahem. Immortal alchemist, step forward. He's like, but but I am immortal. But, excuse me? You can fancy yourself a god if you like, but you remain bound by fate all the same. Now, listen up. During your travels with these young adventurers, you will meet the dead of a forgotten race. Among them will be one asking to fight alongside Solstice Warriors. Be welcoming, for this entity's unbreakable will is the key to achieving the one great feat of alchemy that eludes you still. Oh. Flashback? No, no flashback. All right. What is she talking about? Living glass. Could it truly be? Hmm. Thank you, Crown of the Marsh. That would be all. I carry a small inventory of items for sale if you need, and the fireplace is yours if you want to cook or rest. Oh, and you will need a key to progress further. Here. And we got her key without having to fight her. <laughs> Thanks, Yamara. Be well. We gonna rest. I need the health and MP up. Why don't I just go down the ladder? What am I doing? Right? Oh, no, I can't. Damn. And I can't just jump off this? That's all. That's what I want to do. Just let me jump off. Oh. That was embarrassing. Question pack number five. Doesn't it look like that's like something I should be able to climb? Okay, I guess not. They sure played the hell out of me there. Okay, we're gonna check out this uh, path over here. If it's nothing, I'll 
I'll just uh, cut it out. <laughs> The amount of distance we've had to trek just to just to potentially get there. Can't even read down, okay. There's something down here. There's something on this other side. I can't uh, use the thing to get over there. Damn, whatever their attacks are loud as hell. Jeez, y'all rude as hell. Another save point, I guess that's good. No rest fire though, so I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have like a boss fight or anything right now. This part's like blocked off, huh? Ah, we made a shortcut. Now we're here at Clockwork Castle. It won't budge. Nothing over there. One thing I'll say I appreciate about this game is like there's not really like a grind that I can do. I was thinking about like uh, all the all the time I could spend like trying to grind up a character or characters per se, and then I was thinking, well, it does a bad job of like granting EXP, and then for the boss fights we've been pretty much at like a good level to where they're still challenging. Um, so I don't want to like make us like super OP or anything. Sweet to. Uh... Oh no, I guess I feel like the arrow saying like it's strong against moon. Or never mind, it's saying damage up, damage down. So moon is good for this fight. Uh... I think we'll just want to. Bring them all in. That way the moon skill won't miss. Or, uh, yeah, it won't miss one of them. Looks like there's a chest here, so we'll go see if it's something good. Cog prototype? What is... Is that something to sell?
Oh, that's a key item. Teeks might get a story from that. Okay. So we got another story. Clockwork Castle. We made it. The Dweller of Strife is somewhere in there. Unfortunately. It's like it's welcoming us in, right? Well then. Erlina and Bee Gees. We are bound by oath not to let you enter the Acolyte's headquarters. What about your oath to Solstice Warriors? That one was not taken willingly. Valer, please hear me out. Step aside right now! Stick to the plan, Bee Gees. The Dweller will knock some sense into them. Fine. We only need to buy some time. Please, Ale, surrender. Forget it. Then it brings me no joy. But we must ensure the Acolytes finish the waking ritual. Do your worst. Bring it on. <clears throat> um, hey. I think we should sit this one out. Okay. What? I don't know how we're going to be expecting to block that. Or break his chain thing for it. Oh, wait, never mind. I know how. <laughs> I was thinking for some reason it was like moon and uh, solar. Or sun. Not expecting that. <laughs> oh man. Mm. No, either way, I wasn't going to be able to get this combo, I think. To break the chains or locks, whatever. So. We'll probably want to save that, actually. I think now would actually be a good time to start working towards those power-ups, though. That's actually, like, really cool move. Oh, you're gonna heal? What? So that's what the double sun is, a heal? It's good to know. 
both of y'all. Oh wait, what? What am I doing? Can we see their health, actually, now that I think about it? No, we still can't see non-boss stuff. Okay. Dude hits hella hard. Something fell on my PC. <laughs> Wasn't sure what the heck it was. Uh, we can get this. We're not worried. Like I said, they're just buying time, so... We got one of them. Nope, we got the other. That should be enough. You can still join us if... Get lost, don't you dare. Let's go, Bee Gees. over here. Sturdy cog. Uh, that's going to be for... Oh wait, that's a weapon. There we go.
Can't let the story get in the way of gathering, guys. Especially since I sold like a lot of this. But why is there so much like prosperous stuff in here like this? Isn't this like a cave? We got three paths to take after this. Good to know, good to know. We did that shit. Damn. Alright guys, so I was playing... Alright guys, so I think I got it figured out. We gotta move this uh, gearbox to like one of the sides. So, uh, we'll check out this left side first. Are we able to pull this? Or that just pushes it out? Okay. Okay, that's that's pretty dope actually. Was that though? Okay, so we just had to keep pulling. I was like, what? I was like, what the heck is that? Like, that makes no sense. So. We'll just do the same to the other side. Just keep that going. Okay, we need something. We need a key to put in there. Shouldn't be too hard to find, right? Garden key. Cool.
think I'm onto something, guys. <laughs> oh, travelers, would you have a look at my wares? I guess your tail, tail, something. Yes, this will do. I can't wait to see that faces. <laughs> Ahem. <laughs> oh, visitors. Nice to meet you. My name is Garl. These are my friends, Valer, Zale, Sarai, and Rashan. Hello, everyone. I'm Kyle. I hope it's not rude to ask, but... Are you human? Pretty wrinkly for a kid, huh? That's because my friends and I have been 10 years old for a very long time. What do you mean? Yeah, I, I need it to make sense. Time. What about it? It doesn't pass within this castle. Or rather, it doesn't pass within the bodies of its residents. We cannot die of natural causes, but we must remain here always. This time prison has been our home for centuries. If we were to leave, we would instantly age and die. So that's the gist of it. Whoa, that's grim. It's okay, we like it here. Plus, we get to be kids forever. How cool is that? Even though making machines for the bad guys ain't exactly our preference, it sure beats the alternative. And what's the alternative? He just said dying, bro. Ask the assassin. Huh? So, Rai, you know something, girl? Anyway, what brings you here? We came to confront the Acolytes to take down the Dweller of Strife. Oh, yeah? He's like, oh, right, right this way, then. For that, you would have to get through that big door leading to the Ritual Room. But in order to do that, you would need to fetch the Watchmaker's Master Key atop the clock tower. In order to do that, you need to break the magic seal on the door leading to the clock tower. Okay. So, you're out of luck. Or you could just tell us how to break the seal so we can go get the Master Key. And what makes you think you could take on a Dweller anyway? Valer and Zell were solstice warriors, or are solstice warriors, excuse me. Really? Uh, how did I know we were gonna fight? <laughs> Prove it. Bring the knight. Watch this. Whoa. No way. Did you see that? Well, there was it. Come here, please. Now, touch this crystal with your palm. It worked. Kale, you're a genius! 
What was that? The proof that Eclipse magic can be catalyzed? The implications are beyond words. Does this mean you can help? Yes, this experiment changes everything. We have a device that can help you against the Dweller of Stripe. You can enter the clock tower now. Just need to get the master key while we finish our preparations. The acolytes are in for a surprise. <laughs> Interesting. That was so cool. I wish I could control the light too. Let's try. Ooh. Come on, we have to finish preparing the device before they return. Do the thing with us, Kale. Kyle. <laughs> okay, but just for a bit. Ah, let's go. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm gonna end the video off right here. This was like a nice uh, way to kind of end it for this video. I'll say just for the fact that we made it to Clockwork Tower and then we met up with Kale and his friends because they're all kids apparently so it's gonna be interesting to see like what's gonna happen as we progress like are they gonna stay in the clock tower forever after we get rid of the bad guys and just you know stay 10 but wrinkly forever or do you think they'll like you know pass on and be like you know well we outlived our purpose now no no real things to do nowadays so we might as well just like dip or what if the curse is broken and they like revert back to the 10 year old self and it can actually leave the tower I don't know, too many things could pop up. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps the video a lot. Also, subscribe to my channel if you get to subscribe because uh, I'm on my way to a thousand. So, you know, cheers. Stay sharp. Later.